welcome back. It is that time of the year again. The cold weather has officially arrived, hence the jumper. And before we know it, we're going to be facing things like frost, hail, and dare we mention it, snow. So how we make sure our car is road ready for the winter. Well, Kieran Crean from Mix Garage joins me this morning. Good morning, Kim. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How are you? It's that time of year again. It is. Um, it is. Darker nights, getting darker earlier. Uh, potentially hazardous road conditions in terms of the yeah, weather. Yeah. So how can we make sure generally yeah. that our car is ready for the winter? Well, look, with, with the clocks going back, right, it's going to get darker. Yeah. Uh, it's a fact that more accidents happen uh, in the winter than any of the, any of the parts of the year. Yep. So we just have to make sure that we're carrying those bits of product that actually just helps us any time we get into a situation and to make sure that we've got peace of mind over the winter season. Okay, um, you've got specific products then you want to talk through. We're going to start with Pingy. What in the name of God's Pingy? Yeah, the Pingy is it's a dehumidifier. So it's exactly the same as, you know, you buy a pair of shoes, a silica gel. Oh, yes, this is a little a, bag you get in the Exactly, gym. a much bigger size. So in the winter, we tend to use the heater in the car an awful lot more, which leads to condensation, etc. This this guy will suck all the air out of the out of the car and will prevent your, your windows from uh, frosting over, from frosting or fogging over. And when it's full of water, it'll turn pink, put it into the microwave for 30 seconds, and it'll take and the it'll it back to blue again, and you work again. So you just leave that up on the... Leave it on the dash on the or dash. on the back. Uh, in the car right. and it will basically it will uh, uh, take the moisture out of the air within the car. It's very clever. So it, it turns clever. pink when it's wet and you put it in the microwave and it's ready to use exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Happy days. And that's only what, 7 99 I think 7 99 yeah. Very good. Let's move on to Rain X. Rain X is a brilliant product. Uh, right, what it, is that? It's, it's terrific. It, you spray in the window screen and it puts a very sheer film on, on your windscreen uh, and literally it, it helps the wiper blades do its job. The, the rain just pours off it. It's like a fine, ah, layer, of, right. of, 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 of fine layer of clear wax on, the, on your window screen. Um, and it's terrific. So you'll, you'll find after using wiper blades less because the rain just basically pours off it. It just gives wiper blades a helping hand. So just going back to generally speaking then, should we look at things like, you know, do we need to get a, a you know, not a service so much for the winter, but make sure yeah. our wiper blades are all right? Yeah. You know, no, oil. absolutely. I, I think we should, you should bring it into your local garage and yeah. make sure your car is fully prepped for them, particularly your tyres have the depth, make sure your bulbs are working, make sure your wiper blades are up to, yeah, up to yeah. speed, check your oil, check your battery. All of those things, I think, should be done as part of you want to check for your car. OK, cool. Let's move on to tyre welds. This is your get out of jail, right? right? So you're stuck in a country road, you're stuck somewhere, you get a puncture. Right. You've no, you've no sp a lot of cars these days don't come with spares. Uh, yeah, and very sure. often the, 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 the sealant in the car is just not there when you want it. Yeah. So you basically plug it into your car, it, 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 it uh, puts a substance in your car which seals the hole, gives a little bit of inflation in the wheel and basically enables you to hobble to the garage just to a great degree as opposed to just sitting there. So it's an on-the-go puncture of Exactly, yes. exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah. what sort of price use, is that? I think that's 9.99. 9.99, okay. Jump starters. I had a yeah. recent episode myself. Uh, my wife rang me and said, I'm at the shops and the car's dead. Oh. Had to go down, brought my own car down, tried to jump it, yeah. couldn't yeah. do it, the battery yeah. was gone. Yeah. This is handy this to is have. This is what you need. So we all, know, we all know traditional jump starters, right? Yeah. So if you're trying to find a car, you're trying to find a car with the jump starter jump yeah. starters, please can you come and help me out, right? Yeah. And uh, then is it red to red? Is it red to black? Exactly. Oh. Exactly. This is the next generation. So they kind of right. you kind of your jump packs. Uh, so this is a great little great oh, a great it's nice device. It's small and tidy, isn't it's, it? It's fully charged. It does three functions, right? right? It basically helps you jump your car. So you can attach your jump leads to it. Uh, and it, it will jump your car up to a six litre car, which is terrific. Okay. Uh, it's also compressor. So again, if you get a puncture, your air is down, you can actually put it, it'll pump up the wheels of your car. Oh, really? And then it basically literally has a flash lamp, right? So actually this- That's very right, clever, Actually, I don't have it turned on, but uh, it is a flash lamp. So it's a three on. in one. It's a there three in are, one. Look at that. Uh, so it's so a, it'll, jump, it'll jump your battery. You can get a little bit of compression out of it if you have a flat tire. Exactly. And it's a light. And it's a light. And very clever. it has a port on the side. You can plug in your phone, your iPad, etc. So if you need to, ah. you get your devices topped up on the go. So we sell a lot of these purely for a, a, a standby emergency function, but also if you're going camping for the outdoors, etc. And do we need to recharge that then? And then you point? need to recharge that. So okay. it has the indicators inside to give you an indication where the battery is. Okay. And then as it's going low, just plug it in overnight yeah. and it's fully ready to go. Again. And that's about 70 quid? No, that, that is 106 euros. 106? Okay. Yeah. Great piece of kit. And you say next generation, so small. It's handy to have that sitting on the booth. Absolutely. Uh, so it's a, okay. it's, a, it's a multi function power bank. What's NOCO in the box? NOCO, this is med. Uh, this is med and originally for the, the US military. It's an incredible bit of kit. Uh, it does the same as this. So you can actually plug your phone, your iPad, etc., into it as well. Um, it has a jump start, so it has the same leads as this. So it actually helps you jump start your car. Right. Um, but it also, it's a trickle charger. So if you have a weak battery in your car, you can literally take the battery out of your car. 
You can connect this to the terminals and it will trickle charge, fully charge your battery overnight. A trickle charge? Trickle charger, charger exactly, wow. exactly, yeah, yeah. Designed for the US military? Designed for the US wow. military and it's now been, been sold to consumers. And it's what a, sort of price device. is that? That's 60 euros. Very good. Okay, let's go on to booster cables then. Yeah, if you don't want a four car for these, your very basic booster cables. These start from six euros all the way up. Okay. Uh, depending on one, two meters, three meters, or five yeah. meters, or it depends on liters of your car. I think this particular set is 12 volts, 200 amps. I think it's like 10 euros. Uh, and again, handy to have in the car to Absolutely, help yourself yeah, and yeah. anybody else out. Yeah. Uh, it's worth having in the boot. Yeah. Again, it's you know it sounds so logical, so simple. Like when I, I got that phone call when the car was gone. I had none. Absolutely. So you knock into the neighbour, do you have any jumblies? And a wallet tenner. And you only need it when you need it. You know, yeah. isn't that, isn't that, <laughs> it, you know? that the truth? Yeah. Right, let's move on to back onto the windscreen now and screen wash. Yeah, screen wash. You should get a a, 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 a screen wash that can cater for frost that won't freeze in, freeze your, your lines in the car. Okay. Uh, don't dilute it. You can concentrate a screen wash like this. It's all season, so it'll do it to about minus 10. Uh, it will ensure that your, that your lines won't freeze. So when you get okay. in the morning and if it's frost and you press the button, yeah, yeah. You know, you get happens. that sound yeah, yeah, where there's yeah. nothing happening. This yeah. will prevent that from happening. So it'll drop that into the water. Ex no, don't even put it water. Don't dilute it down. So oh, really? It, exactly. So if it, you want to use it as a as a as a de-ice result, don't. It's uh, very good. Uh, yeah, just literally put it straight into the tank and it'll work perfectly. Okay, very good. Um, then we have something called the winter ice kit. Yeah. So th these are all various products around that. So these you have your de-icer. Uh, this is a great a great little uh, uh, product. It's called a gummy flesh. It's a it's a rubber stick. So. In, in winter and ice, when you're trying to open the doors in your car, yeah. you know the rubber sticks? Do you ever get that yes, when you put yeah, it? Yeah. Shh. Exactly. Yeah. So you prep this with the rubber, and what this does, it keeps your rubber soft soft and supple, right? Ah, so right, it stops right. it from cracking in the sun, yeah, and yeah, in yeah. the winter, basically, it stops, stops it from freezing. Um, and it's a really little, it's a nice little job to protect, to protect the rubber seals in your car. Very clever. So And then, and then you have, you know, you've got kit. a torch, you've got an ice scraper, and then just your general demister pad as well, which is... Which What's is, that? Which is that's just a remote control for the telly. <laughs> it's a torch. It's a okay. small torch, exactly. So you're doing those like winter ice kits, all those bits and bobs for 13 euro. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Tire inflators. Tire inflator. So similar, similar to, to this, which is a compressor. Again, you can get a tire inflator, which is just 15 euros. It's a small bit of kit. Back in, have, have to back in the car. Plug it into your cigarette lighter. Uh, and just come around and just inflate each your tires. Um, keep your tires inflated, given the rising cost of fuel. Yeah, uh, once yeah, you keep yeah, your tires yeah. at optimum level, it's great for safety on the road, but also will ensure that you're not spinning yeah. too much of the pump as well. It is, right? it is a part of the car. I remember myself doing a couple of programme TV shows about cars. Tires are, are, we neglect them a little bit as drivers, don't we? We do. We tend to, like, we might uh, at some point check our oil levels or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But tires are hugely important, and particularly, as you say, when it comes to saving energy, saving fuel. Absolutely. You should make sure your tires are up to the optimum level. Yeah. Uh, the minimum legal tire tread depth is 1.6, yeah. but the accepted level should be no more, minimum should be three millimetres in yeah. practice, right? Uh, and make sure your tires have that level, stick a coin in, you'll see the three millimetres. Right. Stand, yeah, yeah. The old adage, if it stands up in it, it's typically around two to three millimetres. Right. Uh, but again, bring your car to the garage. Have yeah, them look them at the, the battery, yeah, the yeah. bulbs, uh, the wiper blades, uh, and get them to check the tyres for you. So you're heading into the winter in good stead. And finally, the car window heater. There's a car window heater, which we, we don't have here, but yeah. again, it's a plug-in. 12 volt uh, Very good. for the kids. So some heaters, older cars in particular, take long to heat up. So you can plug a heater in, it literally just heats the interior of the cabin uh, within 30 seconds and away you go. Essential tips, thank you. No, you're very you're welcome, thanks, Simon. Yeah, great tips there. Right, we'll take a quick break. Uh, don't go anywhere, see you in a minute.